Another day in downtown Como. Buddha. Italian cities aren't as big as American cities, but they're very intricate cities. You can get lost in them pretty easily despite the smaller size. Also, we're going to meet one of Greta's best friends. I'm not, I feel like she has a lot of best friends. But <laughs> his name is Enrico and he is a very, very, he's a character guy. He's a big character. He's he also is a twin like me, but he has a twin brother that's identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to see them together again before we leave, but they're, I actually met them at the Gelato University I went to, and we're planning on opening our gelato store together, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, so they share a passion. Best friends forever. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ciao, what's up, bro? So they have a ferry here in Lake Como. So if you're opposed to renting a boat like in the last vlog, you can always take this ferry. I know it's pretty slow apparently. It takes an hour and a half around to kind of go like all the way around. But uh, it's a good option if you want to check out the lake and not have to rent a boat and go through all that, you know? So, yeah, it's cool. So right now we're making our way to Bellagio, the real Bellagio in Lake Como. So Como is a big collection of these little villages in Italy and Bellagio is the second largest section of the villages, I believe, and we're staying there tonight. We're staying at a hotel in the real Bellagio and we're making our way there now driving through the beautiful mountains. It's it's really cool up here. Uh, it's really scenic. I'm going to show you guys. Was driving. I'm a little stressed, but we made it. That's all that matters. Yeah, honestly, if you're coming here, it's probably a better option to. There it is. See, I was just gonna talk about the ferry. If you're coming, if you're coming here, it's probably easier to just take the ferry from the center of Como, the city, to Bellagio instead of driving through all that nonsense. It's very stressful. But, really, really narrow, small roads. But driving through the through those streets is really honestly amazing. There's a, an amazing view too. So, you know, it's a little stressful. You have to be careful, but it's fun, so. This is real We just got into the room. Believe it or not, they aren't arguing. It's just passionate Italian speaking. Did you see how crazy the way here was? It was pretty though, right? It was insane. Amazing. Really pretty, but driving it, I was stressing a little bit. Like, Hello guys, I'm Enrico. Welcome to Italy. We are in Bellagio, Hotel du Lac. Over there, we have like a giant, giant bed where everything and like the magic happens over here. Here, we have a giant bathroom. Here, what's it called? Il bagno grande. Light. A giant shower for two people. Light everywhere. And mirror to see yourself because you are in Italy and beauty is important. <laughs> Welcome to Italy, guys. Table. Chair. Chair. Yeah.
These are our keys. We have these two. This one right here is a regular key and it's for the room. And then this one, pretty much when you enter the room, you put it in here and it activates the lights and, and stuff and the air conditioning. So there was a handful of really nice options in Bellagio. They have a lot of hotels here. But this one was one of the best that I could, in my opinion, it was the best option because it was really, really beautiful, but it didn't cost me like a thousand euros a night. And it's right in front of the lake here, but also it's right in front of the ferry station, which I mentioned earlier how you could take that around the whole area of Lake Como. want an apartment in the middle of an Italian city just like that one up there. I just got to figure out which city. These boats behind me are known as taxis. Water limousines or water taxis. Thank you. <laughs> We're at the rooftop bar having a happy hour for the sunset and look at this view. So it's about 9 a.m. right now. We're about to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Breakfast included with the hotel stay. That's something a lot of Italian hotels do is they have this awesome breakfast included with your stay. And I'm really looking forward to it. I just woke up and I'm pretty, pretty tired. I could use some fuel. Cappuccino, bacon, biscuit, croissant, bread.
Unfortunately, we have to leave. We're actually heading to Milan today, so that'll be an adventure, and we're invited to a party tonight, so that'll be interesting, but that's in the next vlog. This hotel is really, really awesome. I couldn't recommend it enough, and uh, I basically had two hotels in mind. I wanted to stay at this one, Hotel du Lac, or Hotel Bellagio, which is very close. It's like maybe a hundred feet to the side, you know? So those are the two that I was looking at because they weren't crazy expensive, but they're both in the center of Bellagio. What I found out was that actually management and ownership is the same between these two hotels. So I'm sure that the overall experience and the customer service and things like that are both in a similar vein. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, this was cool. <laughs> I really had wanted to stay in the real Bellagio um, before heading back to Vegas because, I mean, Bellagio is so popular in Las Vegas and I wanted to show what the real Bellagio was like and what, you know, inspired Bellagio Las Vegas. So I'm happy I was here and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you find yourself in Como ever, definitely try to check out Bellagio. What an amazing little town. All right. See you guys in the next one. Milano. Peace. Peace.